Some cringe when they hear the term New World Order, despite all of these prominent people using it. The world that maybe some people dreamt of at that conference back in Bournemouth when it looked as if maybe history would end, that liberal democracy would triumph, that free market economics would slowly progress and we'd have a new world order. And together they helped to create, were the principal leaders in creating, a new world order and a winning strategy in the Cold War. We are part of a new world order. And as the recently departed Admiral William J. Crow once said, it's long on new and it's short on order. Walter Isaacson wrote a wonderful book about some of the wise men who helped shape the new world order following the Second World War. As we devise a way forward in Iraq, I urge the international community to embrace its responsibility for creating that new world order, a new world order based upon collective action. The transatlantic partnership was never just the foundation of our security. It was the foundation of our way of life. It was forged an experience of the most bitter and anguished kind. Out of it came a new Europe, a new world order, a new consensus as to how life should and could be lived. And just like that, it was gone. It was, the, it was a new world order. That's what President George H. Bush said. Harvard historian Francis Fukuyama pronounced the end of history. How set up are we to deal with this new world order? I think we're going to hear a lot about that today. Let's take the new world order. Uh, it's an interesting phrase. Uh, I've been thinking a little bit about the structure of the world, right? The new world order, as everybody says. The peace could yield to the pernicious new world order. The new world order. The new world order. The new world order. Of the new world order. This new world order. Stay fixed on your goal of imposing the new world order. We kept talking about a new world order. A new world order. That's what we need now. A new world order with swing. One war and one victory doth not a new world order make. Conservatives used to believe in the United States of America rather than the United States of the new world order. The ambition to create a new world order. Whose world order is this? I and mean, of course what he called it was the new world order. Respect for a new world order. We can see a new world coming into the EU, et cetera, et cetera. That's the core of the new world order that we want to try to build. It's the sole superpower, a new world order. New world order. A new world order. To a new world order of peace. Let's say a new world order, for want of a better term. Entities of the new world order. The whole concept of new world order is something else. It really says that the state is God. The state will play a bigger role in the economy. New order. What Wilson wanted was a new world order not just a new world order. In order to compete in the new world order. Compete in this new world order. This is the third leg of the new world order. We had the World Bank, we had the IMF, and now we had the World Trade Organization. A rigid new world order. This hoped for new world order. Constructing a new world order in the new world order of the 21st century. The new world order we're going to put in place in this new world order. In this new world order. Order. The patriots in this country are not going to see their rights diminished in order to create a new world order. You know, the President Bush has described as a new world order, which I share that, we all share that same desire. A new world order is surely in the making here. Are we ready for the new world order? It's a timely and often controversial question. You don't hear a politician speak the way you do in America. It's about the future of Europe and a new world order. Mr. Mr. President, thank, thank you so, you so much, much and I hope to have you again and I hope to see you again.